Is the current state of national affairs requires new thinking. This was stated during the party's national election workshop in Pretoria yesterday. The workshop was attended by the national, provincial and regional leadership as well as the youth structure. Now joining us from our C-Point studio is UDM Deputy President Ngaba Yomzi Kwangwa. Ngaba, welcome to SABC News. Let's just quickly recap on some of the main uh, decisions that were taken at this, uh, I suppose, very important workshop as we head towards the general elections next year. Look, thank you very much. Uh, good evening and thank you very much to the viewers at home and thank you for inviting us. The issue yesterday, what we, we met over the past two days to discuss strategies, you know, to assess our state of readiness as the political party for the 2019 elections, but to also ensure that our election machinery is ready for the work that, uh, that lies ahead of us as we get ready for 2019. But we must, we must, I think it's important for us to stress that even though the workshop was about elections, you can't talk about elections without first assessing the balance of forces and the state of the nation in general, because that is where you identify opportunities. Uh, we had a number of discussions, for instance, including about the land issue. We discussed the political violence, for example, that is taking place in KwaZulu Natal and the role that we as a party should be playing, especially as the provincial leadership there to assist the process and to try to ensure that there's, there's some kind of a cessation of all hostilities, that we play our part, for example, as a stakeholder in that, in that area. But I think what is also important is that what we said we need to do is that we need to amplify our voice as a party in so far as claiming some of our victories and taking credit for some of the good work we do. Uh, we tend to be modest. We, we made an example about the party funding bill which will be enacted as soon as the NCOP process is done, uh, saying that we started to make that call as far back as 2003, for instance, at the time when no one had an appetite to introduce uh, or to amend party funding legislation, which was not supportive of a multi-party democracy. Now that we've managed to achieve that, we need to make sure that South Africans are aware of such victories. But it was also a discussion around identifying opportunities for the party, looking at areas where we can consolidate our strength while we're actually building on areas where we know that we're not so strong, but there's uh, great potentials for us to grow as a, as a political party. The other issue where we also touched briefly on was the issue of political realignment. Remember, we started this discussion around political realignment, especially in the opposition ranks, to say going to the 2019 elections, even though we'll go to the 2019 elections as the UDM independently, we are not going to form a coalition with anyone before elections, but we need to start planning for the possibility of coalition governments at provincial level in 2019. Now, we don't want to be caught with our pants down when that time comes. And for example, say you have a coalition government in Gauteng, as we're forecasting, saying that there's a possibility. We want to know exactly what we expect of such an arrangement and what role and contribution we'd make if that were to occur. You were very critical of the current uh, president or presidency or perhaps even the ANC. Well, people must remember that uh, even though President Sir Ramaphosa is, uh, seems to be uh, making all the right decisions and is trying all the, his level best to make a difference, but we don't have a Sir Ramaphosa problem, but we, what we have is an ANC problem, a, an ANC that uh, is not transformed. I even described it at one point that it was a case of old wine in a slightly rebranded bottle. The same leaders were under President Zuma are still in the current government and are still running the ANC. So there's really no new dawn. It's just a new yawn because it's, it's the perpetuation of all the problems that occurred in the past, but under a slightly different leader who appealed weapons to appeal to the public. And we're saying that we need to actually make sure that we, we play our part in, in so far as being vigilant, holding them to account, uh, because the departments under the same president, Sir Ramaphosa, some of the departments are falling apart. You've seen what's happening in SOEs. You know what happened to SA Express. The level of corruption in the SOEs and in some of the provincial governments is still very much shocking. Uh, so we're saying as a party, we need to make sure that we continue to play our part, we continue to expose corruption, we continue to advocate for clean governance in South Africa, because that has been one of our strengths, that has been one of the things that we've managed to do particularly well, even though now it's become a new mantra, everyone 
uh, that wants to be relevant starts, starts talking about corruption, even though those, the leaders in the ANC are corrupt. Uh, they talk about corruption because it's fashionable uh, to, to, to do so. Let me thank you very much for the uh, little time that we have uh, shared there. That is the Deputy President of the United Democratic Movement just sharing with us uh, the uh, little brief notes uh, out of their workshop, election workshop that is that they held over the weekend. Now,